Job chapter 2 Job's second test One day the members of the heavenly court came again to present themselves before the Lord and the accuser Satan came with them Where have you come from the Lord asked Satan Satan answered the Lord I have been patrolling the earth watching everything that's going on Then the Lord asked Satan Have you noticed my servant Job he is the finest man on the earth he is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and strays away from evil. And he has maintained his integrity, even though you urged me to harm him without a cause. Satan replied to the Lord, skin for skin. A man will give up everything he has to save his life, but reach out and take away his health and he will surely curse you to your face. All right, do with, you, with him as you please, the Lord said to Satan but spare his life. So Satan left the Lord's presence and he struck Job with terrible boils from his head to his foot. Job scraped his skin with a piece of broken pottery as he sat among the ashes and his wife said to him, are you still trying to maintain your integrity? Curse God and die. But Job replied, oh, you foolish woman, should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? So in all of this, Job said nothing wrong. Job's three friends share his anguish. When three of Job's friends heard of the tragedy he had suffered, they got together and traveled from their home to comfort and console him. Their names were Elephas and Temanite, Bildad and Shuite and Zophar, the Namatite. <laughs> when they saw Job from a distance, they scarcely recognized him. Wailing loudly, they tore their robes and threw dust into the air over their heads to show their grief. Then they sat on the ground with him for seven days and nights. And no one said a word to Job, for they saw that his suffering was too great for words.